In 1958, the first Hongqi sedan was born, becoming the official state vehicle for China's national leaders and major state events. For the Chinese people, Hongqi is not just a famous car brand, but also a deep emotional attachment and sacred memory. For the employees of FAW Group, the manufacturer, Hongqi represents a strong sense of responsibility and a historical mission. In the 1960s and 1970s, Hongqi sedans were a symbol of China's automotive industry. After the reform and opening up, while continuing to fulfill its role as the national car, Hongqi began its process of marketization. In the field of internal combustion engines, the V12 engine is known as the crown jewel and is currently recognized as one of the most challenging engines to manufacture. The ability to master the self-developed and self-made technology of the V12 engine and achieve various performance parameters reflects to some extent the technical prowess of an automotive company in engine manufacturing. The recent production of a V12 engine by FAW can truly be considered a source of pride for the Chinese national automobile industry, let's first introduce the V12 engine that was just produced by FAW a few days ago. Based on the only V12 engine platform in China, it has undergone substantial optimization and is a turbocharged direct injection engine with a maximum horsepower of 762 and a maximum torque of 1,100 newton meters. In the future, it will be used as the internal combustion engine part of the hybrid system and will be installed in the high-end luxury and super sports cars under the Hongqi brand. Point two important pieces of information are missing here displacement and the number of turbochargers. The number of turbochargers is not difficult to guess, as most V12 engines are equipped with twin turbocharging, one for each bank of cylinders, so it is highly likely that this new Hongqi V12 also features twin turbocharging. As for the displacement, the official information mentioned earlier indicates that the new engine is based on the only V12 engine platform in China. Currently, the only V12 engine in China is installed in the Hongqi L5, with a displacement of 6.0 L. It is a naturally aspirated engine with multipoint fuel injection technology, yes, it is not a direct injection engine, and it only produces a maximum horsepower of 4.00 I. In fact, when the first generation Hongqi V12 was introduced, some public opinion believed that this V12 was actually a modified version of the Mercedes-Benz M120 engine. The Mercedes-Benz M120 V12 engine was installed in the Mercedes-Benz S-Class with the codename W140, and it was Mercedes-Benz's first large displacement V12 engine for civilian use, although we must acknowledge that the first-generation Hongqi V12 does indeed share many similarities with the Mercedes-Benz M120 in terms of cylinder block structure, cylinder head geometry design, displacement, both are 5,998 milliliters, multipoint fuel injection, and the design of the initial section of the exhaust. Manifold, we cannot conclude that the first-generation Hongqi V12 is the Chinese version of the M120 based solely on these similarities. The new Hongqi V12, as an improved version of the first-generation model, undoubtedly means that the important structures such as the cylinder block and cylinder head of the first-generation model have not changed. Without structural reinforcement, the jump from the naturally aspirated plus fuel injection version with 400 horsepower to 762 horsepower through twin turbocharging plus direct injection is a significant increase. To be honest, most new aluminum cylinder block V12 engines cannot achieve such a huge performance increase. We tend to believe that this new V12 from Hongqi should be made of ultra high strength special aluminum alloy or cast iron to create the cylinder block. This is very similar to the huge performance potential of the Mercedes-Benz M120 engine. The M120 engine, which produces 400 horsepower in the Mercedes S-Class, when installed in the Pagani Zonda C12S with twin turbochargers, can easily reach over 600 horsepower, and by increasing the turbocharging, it can achieve over 730 horsepower. Many American tuning companies have been able to add two medium-sized turbochargers to the M120 without changing the cylinder head and cylinder block, 
increasing the maximum horsepower to over 800, and even maintaining durability of at least 700,000 kilometers. The M120 engine holds the same high status among performance car enthusiasts as the LS7 V8 engine from General Motors, both having almost unlimited tuning potential as legendary engines of their generation. So, regardless of how you view the relationship between the Hongqi V12 and the Mercedes-Benz M120, at least the performance potential of these two engines is enormous. However, whether 762 horsepower means that this engine is necessarily a super fuel guzzler compared to Ferrari and Lamborghini V12S, with more advanced technology, is not the main point of interest for this engine. The focus of this engine is actually beyond its performance curve, many media outlets, upon seeing the official description from Hongqi about the power parameters of this engine and the statement it will appear with a hybrid system instinctively think that this will definitely be the powertrain for future Hongqi supercars. After all, given the current performance of hybrid technology in China, a V12 engine with 762 horsepower will undoubtedly be paired with a dual or quadruple electric motor system, where the output power of the electric motor may be equivalent to or even higher than that of the engine. The combined power output of the entire system could exceed 1500 horsepower and even approach 2000 horsepower, which is possible and entirely achievable. In theory, such a powerful engine should be used in a supercar. However, we believe that even if Hongqi produces a supercar in the future, it is highly likely to appear in a pure electric form. In other words, it is unlikely that this V12 plus hybrid power unit will be installed in future Hongqi supercars. As for other brands and models under the FAW group, it is also unlikely that they will use this power system. The reason is simple, it's not necessary. So, in essence, this powertrain is unlikely to appear in our daily lives. However, as a demonstration of the country's soft power, it is essential to create such a highly powerful internal combustion engine. For a machine with a special mission from birth, it is meaningless to worry about fuel consumption and whether the engine's technology is advanced enough. After all, even in the so-called homeland of supercars, Italy, their official state cars do not use advanced engines produced by their own national car factories. A hydrogen engine is an internal combustion engine that uses hydrogen as fuel. Compared to traditional gasoline or diesel engines, it has advantages such as environmental friendliness, high efficiency, and adaptability to multiple fuels, but it also faces challenges such as hydrogen storage, safety, and cost. Currently, many domestic and foreign car companies and research institutions are actively conducting research and development of hydrogen engines, exploring the potential and value of hydrogen energy in the automotive field. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles use hydrogen as an energy source and can be divided into two types based on different power systems, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and hydrogen internal combustion engine vehicles. The former uses hydrogen and oxygen from the air to undergo a chemical reaction in a fuel cell, generating electric power to drive the vehicle's electric motor. The latter uses a mixture of hydrogen and air to burn in an internal combustion engine, generating power to drive the vehicle. Both types only emit water vapor and do not produce greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide. Currently, both domestically and internationally, there are corresponding technical routes and product layouts for the two types of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. For example, companies such as Toyota, Honda, and Hyundai have introduced their own hydrogen fuel cell vehicle products, while BMW, Ford, and Mazda have developed their own hydrogen internal combustion engine vehicle products. In addition, some companies have adopted hybrid power systems that combine both technologies. ASA clean, efficient, and renewable power technology, hydrogen engines are undoubtedly one of the future directions for automotive development. However, to achieve widespread application and promotion of hydrogen engine vehicles, Several issues need to be addressed the construction and improvement of infrastructure for hydrogen production, storage, transportation, and refueling. Currently, 
hydrogen energy is mainly produced through fossil energy conversion or water electrolysis, both of which have issues such as high energy consumption, high costs, and high carbon emissions. In the future, it is necessary to develop more ways to produce hydrogen energy using renewable energy sources such as wind energy, solar energy, and biomass energy, and establish a safe, convenient, and economical hydrogen energy supply chain. In conclusion, hydrogen engines are a car power technology with tremendous development potential and application prospects, providing new ideas and solutions for addressing energy and environmental issues. However, hydrogen engines also face many technical challenges and market barriers, requiring joint efforts and collaboration from all parties to achieve the widespread adoption and promotion of hydrogen engine vehicles. vehicles.